Hi, I'm Landon Thacko from Spartan Controls, and today I'm going to show you how to change the position on a 2052 actuator. The first thing to do is determine what position you are switching to, and this varies by process conditions and the physical area where the valve is going to be mounted, and is usually determined by an engineer. As an example, we will change the position on this V200 from right hand mount style B position 1 to left hand mount style D position 1. To start, I will loosen the bolt on the lever arm. You gain access to this from the back side of the actuator. You don't need to remove the bolt, just need to loosen it until it spins freely. Remove the bolts that are holding the valve to the actuator. With the bolts removed, I will now separate the valve from the actuator. Since I'm changing the mounting position from right hand to left hand mount, this requires me to move my mounting yoke from one side of the actuator to the other. You do this by removing these four bolts. On the other side of the actuator, I will now remove my travel indicator and travel scale. With everything removed, we can now start the reassembly process by installing our yoke and our bolts and tightening them down. Next, I will make sure the ball in the valve is lined up roughly in its fail position. This will help with getting the shaft lined up properly when I install in the actuator. In this case, the valve will be in its fail open position. With no error on the actuator, I will now drop my valve in, rotating it back and forth slightly until the splines on the shaft line up with the splines inside the lever arm. When they do line up, it should drop in smoothly. Now, reinstall and tighten down your mounting bolts. Tighten down the bolt on the lever arm, and then reinstall the cover. Since this position is pushed down to close, I will now apply air to the actuator, and then use a template I made to check for proper alignment. I can make an adjustment using the close stop until the ball is lined up perfectly. With the ball fully aligned, I'll now install my travel indicator and travel scale, paying special attention to ensure that they're aligned properly. I can now check for 90 degrees of travel using my travel indicator. If it over or under travels, I can compensate for this by adjusting my open stop. And that concludes my overview on how to change the position on the Fisher 2052 actuator. Thanks for watching.